Hello Triglins and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to look at NCLOF and how to actually export it without, you know, getting a bunch of errors that you guys might be receiving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to make it the appropriate size, just like that, do it like that, right? And then we are going to give it a little bit more Let's give it 10 to no not 20 jesus christ no i'm sorry no there we go <laughs> that's better all right i'm gonna put on wireframes so here we go we got this right so what you want to do now in 2018 and 2017 actually you go up here you choose fx all right and it'll give you a bunch of new uh, menus and from here you press end cloth create end cloth just like that, bam, all right? And the second thing you wanna do right now is you wanna select it again, and then you wanna to go to fields and solvers and press air. Okay, cool. Not hard, right? The thing you wanna do now is you wanna hold control and press A to bring out all, all the attributes, and then I want you to navigate and find end cloth shape one. And then you go down to pressure, and this is something you, you can actually just play around with, uh, well, play around with a little bit. Uh, I like to have it at uh, 0 0.4. And then you, of course, make sure the uh, cube or box or whatever you want to call it is selected. And then we press play. And as you see, you see the uh, pillow shape thing constantly falling. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to simply Press stop when I get the right shape, or oh, well, uh, when the shape actually looks like the way I want it. And this kind of looks like a pillow, so I'm going to keep it like this. And here is the part where people actually start getting problems. It's like, well, I'm just going to export this, right? And, and uh, it'll be fine. Unfortunately, it is not that simple. Ex exporting this takes a little bit more uh, well, explaining to do. So what we are going to do now is we are going to select the object. We're going to delete the uh, history, of course, like that. And then we are going to freeze transformations just like that. And then I want you to go to Windows and bring out the outliner and remove all the nucleus, the end cloth and the airfield. We don't need those anymore. Now here's the tricky part. If you select this, then it go, oh yeah, well that's the shape, right? False. Go to display, press shapes. Then you'll soon realize that there are two different types of shapes. One of them is the shape you want, and the other one is the shape you really do not want. So here it is. This is the shape you want. All right. Just for the safety, I have a little button here, with the script that kind of just puts it in the middle of Origo and just removes history and freezes transformation, and yada, yada. Just make sure you go through that again. And that's it. You're done. Just make sure to select the shape and then go to file and then export selection. You should be OK. I know there's a lot of people out there that might go, oh, well, you can just duplicate and export like that. But unfortunately, in Maya 2018, it doesn't always go to 100% success rate like that. And doing it the manual way, just make sure that you don't have any crap values or any of the shapes in that either way. And this is it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.